Hey Naturalistas, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia Hope and if you're new here or you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you didn't know, I am currently holding a, a gigantic giveaway on my channel right now. If you have not seen my giveaway video, make sure you check that out. I'll leave the link in the description box. And actually, you know what? I'm just gonna leave how you can enter into this huge giveaway in the description box of this video right here. So anyway, getting back to business, I wanted to make this video because I got so many questions and comments basically saying, you know what, I love your shortcut, I love you bald, but why? Why did you cut your hair? Honestly, I kind of wish that I had some like deep philosophical reason as to why I shaved my head. But honestly, the main answer is because I felt like it. <laughs> I just wanted to do it. And so I really, really enjoy playing around with different hairstyles like this one or this one or this one or this one <laughs> i've done so many styles on my channel um and i really feel like it's a reflection of just how i view hair i look at hair as something to be styled something to have fun with something to um maybe add to a certain mood you're in or uh, image that you want to portray and so I feel like I play around with my hair to suit one of those things you know what I mean so if you've been with me for a while you know that I am not afraid of scissors at all I've big chopped like I mean grown out my hair cut it all off grown it out again cut it all off dozens of times throughout my life the first time I ever ever big chopped I was in fourth or fifth grade and my hair was super super short and what drove me to cut my hair then was because I was in charge of doing my hair at the time and I hated it and I was like well if I don't have hair I don't have to do it and so <laughs> I kept telling my mom I was like I, I want to cut my hair I want to cut my hair and she was like are you sure and she kept asking me for a couple of months and she was like okay well you've been you know you haven't changed your mind for a certain amount of time and I just remember going into the kitchen she grabbed some scissors chopped it all off and I felt so free and so I knew in that moment however old you are and fourth like nine ten ish at nine and ten years old in like fourth fifth grade I had my first glimpse of how freeing it is to cut your hair at least for me personally like it's just it just like it feels so so good to me to just cut my hair like I've never cut my hair and felt bad every single time I've cut my hair like I feel good I feel light I feel airy and that's one of the reasons why for me this last time I cut off all of my hair after I like grew it all the way down my back um, I was like you know I'm just gonna enjoy having short natural hair why do I always feel like I'm kind of in a rush to grow it out let me just enjoy being a short naturalista so that's what I've been doing Aside from just the experience of shaving my head, I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie and I do feel like I get a certain like high from trying different short natural hairstyles. Some that I'm just kind of like, I want to try it, but that kind of scares me a little bit. Like I always want to like, I want that. Like I want to do stuff that scares me just a little bit. Like I want to do it and I know it's going to give me a rush while I'm doing it. As I said, um, I've big chopped multiple times. I've had short natural hair dozens of times, but the beginning of this year, I went to the barbershop for the very first time in my life and I remember getting so nervous. Like I was sitting in the chair, the palms of my hands were like so clammy and I was like, why am I freaking out right now? Like I already had short hair and I'm like, it's really not that big of a deal Nia, but it was like, it was something about taking it that low. Like I had short hair, but nothing like I could see my scalp, like you could see my scalp right now type of short hair. And I remember feeling feeling so nervous. And then like once it was done, I was like, oh, why didn't I do this sooner? Like I, I was instantly in love with the cut. I went from seeing myself with short hair dozens of times to having like super, super short hair. And I was like, you know, what is it gonna be like with no hair? And that's kind of what I wanted to know what I would look like, feel like, um, all that. Like, I just wanted to know. Like, even outside of my hair, I'm one of those people who, like, I love trying different things. I'll try different foods. I love going to different places. I love meeting different people. And I'm just, like, one of those people, I just, like, I want to have those experiences where I'm just, like, I've I've done it. Like, I, I've experienced that. And so, for me, it's, like, I can always look back at this moment, whether I ever shave my head again or not, and say, like, I know what it feels like to be bald. And something about having that knowledge and not having to be, like, I wonder, but knowing for a fact, if that makes any sense. Like, So, moving on, I think for me, one of the things that I've been enjoying most about being bald is the fact that it's, like, 
it's not even low maintenance it's no maintenance like there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing to do when i had two three inches of hair i would do my wash and goes that's still styling um when I had fades, I felt like I needed to like brush down the hair to make sure like it looked nice and crisp or like touch up my edges and stuff at home, like still styling. And I think that's the thing. There is no styling involved. I love the fact that my hair is not a factor. <laughs> it's not something that I have to like factor into my daily schedule. Like, okay, if I wake up at this time, I need like, you know, 15 minutes to do my hair. Like, no, I don't need any time to do my hair. I can focus on other things. As much as I love different hairstyles, like the one thing that I've never enjoyed is dedicating an ungodly amount of time to just stressing over my hair or doing my hair. It just feels bizarre that there was a point in time where I would dedicate whole days to detangling my hair or dedicate like, you know, hours to being in the hair salon or dedicate time every evening to retwisting my hair to like keep it moisturized. Like the amount of time I've spent on my hair over the past couple of years when it was longer is ridiculous. <laughs> I probably could have written like 10 books, started a movie, traveled around the globe a couple times with the amount of time I've spent on my hair. And I think that's another reason why I love short hair is because I, I don't feel like I'm misusing my time on something so, so, un, so important yet unimportant. You know what I mean? Like I did want to take a moment out to ask you guys what types of videos you want to see i know that in um the video where i shaved my head i was like you know i'm going on a growth journey yes i'm going on a growth journey but not right this second like i'm probably gonna start either december or january because i'm probably going to cut my hair at least one more time before this year is over i really really want to hear from you guys what you want to see on this channel do you guys strictly just want to see me doing my hair or do you want to see things like a room tour or me cooking or do you guys I don't know if you didn't see my last if you didn't see my first vlog actually <laughs> it was a vacation travel vlog from when my boyfriend and I were in Puerto Rico make sure you watch that I will drop the link in the description box and if you did see it and you liked it do you want to see more vlogs like I was thinking the holidays are coming up and my birthday is coming up this month as well so we have like Thanksgiving my birthday this month and then of course next month is Christmas. Do you guys wanna see vlogs from just like what I'll be doing? Cause I'll be, I'll be traveling for all of those things. So I'm curious to see, do you guys wanna see more vlogs? So yeah, let me know in the description box what you guys would be interested in seeing. Of course, I promise you will have um, <laughs> basically growth journey um, information coming very soon within the next month to two months. It's on its way. I promise it's coming. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I want to like share with you guys or say? <laughs> I think that's it. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, oh yeah. And if you're not, follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram as Nia Hope. I'm on Twitter as The Nia Hope. And I'm on Snapchat as Nia Hope. <laughs> so yeah, definitely follow me on social media.